right, Brad, now that the feeling has settled, um, I, I know you spoke post-game as well, but anything uh, new to share about just the season being over? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's disappointing, um, you know, when you don't achieve your, your goal. Um, you know, regardless of where the expectations were to start the season, um, not internally, I think internally we all expected to have a good year. Um, you know, but from the outside noise and kind of where everyone projected our team to be, uh, you know, we, we grew a ton. Uh, there was a lot, of, a lot of things we had to overcome this year, a lot of changes. Um, you know, we had a ton of new guys, a lot of young guys come in, and, uh, you know, we lost some huge pieces of this group with, with Berge and Kretsch and, um, you know, some of the older guys. Uh, the way we came together um, and, and what we built, you know, the, the, the team, uh, the coaching staff did an incredible job at putting a game plan in place that was going to allow us to have success. And, um, you know, we, and we grew uh, so much as a group. But, you know, at the end of the year, like, we were doing so well and, and we thought that, that we could get it done. And, you know, it, that's the tough thing about playoffs is that, you know, you're, you're one play away from uh, changing the series and changing the outcome. Um, you know, there's a lot of things you can look at in the series that, you know, if we would have capitalized on an opportunity or two, uh, it could have been a much different series. And, and uh, it's tough to see it end the way it did uh, when you look at that. But uh, definitely a lot that we can, we can, you know, take away and be happy about and look forward to improve upon next year, I think, with... You know the base, what we have, and 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 you know now the the new outlook of our group and the new core. Mm-hmm. Um, you know you can look at next year and, and be excited and and look to improve upon that. Um, so yeah, you know, I don't want to sit here and say it was a huge success this year because at the end of the day, you know, we play for a cup and mm-hmm. that's that's what you built for the entire season is an opportunity to to, to be in the playoffs and ultimately win um you know so we accomplished a goal by getting in the playoffs but you know we didn't accomplish the ultimate goal what do you want to do as a captain as far as leadership now going forward in the off season with this group and as you said get to where you want to be to be able to battle for a Stanley Cup uh, I mean you know it'll be a lot easier next year coming into the season this year uh there was a lot of unknowns just even who was going to be the captain and and you know how our team was going to look uh, but you know, going into summer and then you know, going to the next training camp, it'll be a lot more comfortable and uh, I'll be way more confident, um, you know, in the role and the position. Just understanding, you know, what it's about, what comes with it, and um, I think that the, the year will be a lot easier to start next season, uh, personally. But you know, as a group as well, I think that again, you know, I speak about the new core that we have and, and the way guys grew this year and new positions and new roles. Um, you know, we have a, a much better idea of, of where our lineup's going to look next year. Obviously, there's some holes every year, but they need to be filled. But um, you know, I think the, the foundation of our team is there, and, and we'll be back again next year. And uh, you know, with the, the structure and the coaching staff that we have, I think it, it it's exciting about the opportunity to accomplish some big things again next year. So you know, it, it's still fresh, but um, you know, I'm excited about. I'm excited to get going already. Brad, how do you look at Pasta's progress in his career uh, in a different kind of a evolving role this year, uh, given uh, all the team change? Yeah, uh, you know, the last few years, especially, he, he's really come into his own. I mean, from from day one here, you knew he was a special player. Um, the way he came in and just his attitude off the ice, so grateful. Uh, to be here every day, it's so much fun to be around. Uh, but he, he's really grown, uh, you know, especially towards the end of the year. I thought off the ice, it seemed like he had a lot more confidence, um, you know, leading in the room and being vocal. Uh, and then obviously you see his ice on the play. I mean, he just dominates every game. He's just he's a one man um, wrecking crew out there. He just controls the play and can make things happen out of nothing. And Really led our group this year, especially offensively. Uh, you know, he, he's a he's a generational talent. Um, you know, and he and he continues to elevate. Uh, the, the the scary thing about that is, I still think he can be better. Um, I still think there's room for him to improve and 
the more confidence that he confidence he gets as a leader and, and off the ice, it, it just seems to carry on the ice for him. Um, you know, and he almost seems like he has something to prove every day. So uh, it was great to see him take another step. I, again, I still think he can he can continue to grow. Um, and uh, yeah, excited to see where where he continues to go. Right, the nature of the business is the team you lose to ends up being a sort of a litmus test of where you've got to get to. It, from the captain's perspective, what what do you think gets you over that hump as a team? I mean, I think we're right there. Um, you know, Florida's a great a great team. They're they're very deep. Um, they play. What I, what I like about their group is uh, they play a playoff type style. I mean, they're confident in their game and their structure. They just they play their game without falter, um, without fault, uh, you know, and they just keep going. Like, they don't really change to, to other teams. They they believe in the structure and the system, and if they just keep going, um, you know, they believe they break through. And, and, you know, with them, they just they have the confidence to make the plays at the right time. Um, you know, we, we were, like I said, we were a player or two away from, from changing the series. You know, we're up to nothing in, in game four, and um, they we had three or four great A opportunities to extend. And if we get up three nothing, you know, that, this is a different series. So, um, you know, we're right there. I think with with the way that we we grew, um, again, I, I think we're right there, and with you know, the potential for the summer, um, you know, I like our I like where we're gonna get. But uh, I mean, the margins are so small in this league and in, in every series. You know, you you can. That's why you know it's such a treat to play in the in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Going into the season, you never know who's going to be the most dominant team. Like I said, we were rode off to start the season. We were in a playoff team, and you know, look what we accomplished this year. So, um, you know, we're up there with the top teams. It's just there's so many things that play out. Whether you know, you know, that Bennett goal doesn't get called. All it takes is one call from a referee, um, a penalty, a call from the league. Like. And these series are all different. So I, I've said it a million times before, but to win a cup, to go the distance, you need everything to line up. You need the right calls. You need the right bounces. Obviously, you need the, you know a good team, and you need guys to step up and produce at the right times. But you know, only one team has everything go their way um, each year. And you know, we didn't get the calls that we needed. We didn't get the breaks that we needed. You know, we didn't get the goals at the at the right time, or the, you know, so we didn't chip the the puck in or ship it out at the you know the times that we needed to to make a difference in a series, and that's all it takes. So, do I look at Florida or do I look at these other teams and say we need to get to where there? No, we're right there. We're we're good enough. We just didn't we just didn't get that you know one more play that we needed, and that doesn't mean that it's not going to come next year. Like I believe in this group and and what we have and I, I think that this group can get it done um, but you need everything to go your way and like I said those calls you know those split second calls where a ref says no goal or he calls it a goal like that's enough to determine you know a game in a series so I'm not putting it on the refs by any means I'm just saying those can be the difference a, a, a chip puck out can be the difference right it, it's just it, you never know what it is until you look back and say, hey, that can be the difference. And So um, we're right there. I don't look at any team and say we need to be them. Um, Florida's a great team. They're deep. They play f physical. They play hard. Um, you know, and they got great goaltending. So they have all the makings of a, of a cup team. So does Dallas. So does Colorado. So does Edmonton. So does Vancouver. Like, they're all right there. Um, but, again, it's margins. And, uh, you know. Just how it plays out. Brad, would you like you to, to start talking uh, extensions this summer? Um, yeah, I, uh, obviously, uh, it, it's. Uh, I can't believe how quick it came. It, it's now on the table. Um, I, it, it will, yeah, definitely be a conversation at some point. Um, you know, and we'll go from there. Um, obviously, I've I've been here for my whole career, and and. Um, uh, would love to continue that, so we'll you know we'll deal with it when the time comes. Sure. Fred, sorry about that. Uh, you're excited about the core. You're excited about <laughs> some of the youth that came in. Do you also look at the amount of cap space this team has and, and a possibility of bringing in another impact player? Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, uh, impact players are uh, 
you know, every player is an impact player. Um, you know, come playoff time, every depth player is a huge impact player, and and that's where you win. So uh, we have a lot of cap space. We have a lot of opportunity. Obviously, we have you know some holes that need to be filled with guys that are going to be leaving and contracts that are up. And um, I mean, some of those holes will be filled by guys that are already in this room. Uh, some won't, but. With, with, again, the foundation we have, the growth guys took, you know, you look at CC and Pav and the way that they filled in those two roles, um, you know, took it, ran with it, and, and both thrived.